Hey legends, so I'm just doing some work on the F-150. Um, it's got a bit of axle wrap, so it's been a bit of a mission trying to fix this axle wrap. I've put the two link bars on, had the springs looked at, um, what else? Adjustable shocks, it's still got it. I'll, uh, I'll put up a video next and show you what the axle wrap at currently looks like. And uh, what I'm doing now is I'm pulling the springs off and getting um, the springs reset again with uh, a few adjustments and a stronger leaf in the front of it to stop it from wobbling from doing the little S bend. Um, I'll show you the before and after as well. So I'm just gonna run you through what I'm doing. So basically I've, um, I've already taken the two link off. I've taken the shocks off. The shocks are at the shop. Uh, they're getting new bushes put in them. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pull the uh, leaf springs out now. So. So what I've done is I've uh, got four axle stands. I've got two on the chassis. Two on the diff, what I've done is I've lowered it onto the chassis and just got the diff supported by these stands so that it's released the pressure on the springs up and now undo the four bolts. And I'm gonna get all these powder coated because I'm not gonna mention names, but uh, when they did all the two link, it's all going rusty and crap. I don't like that under my truck. Yeah, the diff's getting painted. I'm just gonna fix this axle wrap problem first, then I'm gonna get that powder coated. But these, I'm gonna, while I've got them off and the two link, I'm gonna get them powder coated as well. Just makes it a little, little bit tidier, so when I run someone over, you know, they'll go, wow, looks good under here. So, I'm just using, uh, I had to borrow some tools off my dad. <laughs> He's good for that. Oh yeah, she was the tight one. Cool. Now I should be able to get the ratchet, the rattle gun on there. because it is going to fall down now I don't want it to fall on me so oh, yuck full of grease piece of cake Oops. I can't be bothered getting that rattle gun for this one it's coming off pretty easy I'll just kick the bolt through there so the spring doesn't fall on me. Surely that nut's come off now. Yep, there we go. Nut, nut off. And then, that way, get ready to drop the spring down. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's a bit 
it's just it's not it's not loose but it's not tight it's bloody hammer it cables are always it's quite heavy actually that spring now I'll try and drag it out without destroying the floor that's the problem with the rental to sell my house So I try to keep everything um, in some sort of order. So when I put it back together, I don't forget that stuff's going off to the powder coaters. And while I'm working on the truck, this guy, he loves it. He just hangs out the front. Windsor, good boy. There's the springs out. Obviously left and right. I'll keep them in that order. I'll write it on there in a minute. Um, Take them off to get reset and hopefully fixes the problem of the axle wrap. See how we go. Otherwise, it's uh, plan B and probably go a four link. I don't really want to, but see how we go. Okay, so I've just returned from Ape Suspension in Wangara. Um, they're the guys that reset my springs. Uh, they did a few things to the to the leaf springs. They put some clamps on for me. Two clamps at the front, one clamp at the rear. Two clamps at the front. Um, that should ho hopefully help with the axle wrap. The um, clamp at the rear was closer to the eye previously. It's now been brought closer to the diff. The uh, helper leaf at the bottom has been bent up slightly, so that should help with the axle hop. So I'll um, get them painted up and chuck them in the car. So I'm 
I'm not going to drill them up too tight. It's a little too hard to undo. I feel like I'm undoing them. You're a good boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. D for driver. So you've got to loosen the bolts for the springs before you lower the vehicle because otherwise you put tension on the bushes and it can split them. So I'm going to lower it to the ground and I'll do these back up. Then I'll just put the, uh, the two link back on 
and the shock absorbers and we are good to go. a lot harder, harder to move under here now that it's on the ground it's cool though it's pretty low so now what I'm going to try and do everything's all together um, I'm just going to tr set these bars now because it's just a two link system I um, I don't want to do too much preload so I'm going to have them kind of neutral on both of them and then probably half a turn to a full turn positive 